how old are you, Joe? I'm 34. And how long have you been in this in this business, this plumbing business? Um, not necessarily with uh, the company I work for now, but altogether about 15 years. Maybe you know I've been doing it off and on since I was you know kid to a degree. People have lost a lot in their 401k plans. Are worried about their jobs. They're worried about foreclosures and so forth. Against that backdrop of economic troubles, why do you think people are looking to Obama to solve it? All this stuff has taken place exactly uh, with you know McCain in office, with Bush in office, and so on and so forth. But there's a lot of other players in in, in that that you failed to mention. Uh, I mean, you know, they uh, they want to yell about deregulation right away, and you know, I'm not against deregulation, and I don't see that as necessarily causing the trouble uh, as much as uh, the Democrats seem to say it is. I mean, you know, it, what it came down to was greed. Yeah, uh, you know, it just. Uh, and, you know, you can point fingers at both sides to a degree, but, I mean, you know, Frank Raines, I mean, you know, the guy got $90 million, from what I understand. A Democrat. Yeah, yes, a Democrat, you know. And, uh, this, and Barney uh, Frank, a Democrat, uh, uh, insisted Barney, yeah. on Fannie Mae make these loans. Were you uh, bowled over by the aura and the presence of, of the Great One when you actually got to speak to him? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um uh, no, and he's uh, you know just another f- person that has an opinion, just like I have one. So, you know, his opinion is no better or worse than mine. Well, I, actually, I think it is. But I mean, no, I mean it was you know just like meeting anybody else on the street. Uh, uh, there wasn't uh, an aura about him. No, there wasn't a sense of presence by no means. I didn't sit there and go, you know, wow, you know, I, I you know, and I honestly, I kind of thought I would, and I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't, you know, because he is a presidential nominee. I mean, he, this is a guy or a presidential candidate, and this is a guy that has a chance of being president of, you know, one of the greatest countries in the world, and I was the you know, greatest. Well, I agree with you, the greatest country of the world, and um, no. I, I didn't feel that sense of anything other than, you know, he had an opinion and I, I disagree with it. We t- interviewed Rick Davis, who was John McCain's campaign manager a few minutes ago, and, and I brought you up. Uh, and he just lit up uh, uh, like a light bulb. He said, yeah, d- d- Joe and the plumber in Ohio, he's what this thing is all about. How will you feel if John McCain kind of gets in Obama's face about this spreading the wealth business, which essentially you provoked out of Obama. I would be very happy about that. I, I really want a good answer, not one that gets tap dance around. I, you know, and get him in the corner and make him answer that. How, how does he think it's right? How, how do you think it's his right to redistribute anyone's wealth? I mean, we we all have to pay taxes, uh, you know, to a certain degree. But you know, I mean, it's almost like a class war, and I, you know, I just don't think that's right. And essentially, you know, I'm, I'm a simple guy. You know, I, I I try to do my homework, learn what I can about each of these uh, candidates, and um, then you know. I, I got my own opinions, so I, hopefully he can make you know make somebody or make Brock actually answer the question, you know, and then maybe make some other people think about this because ultimately, you know, 15 years ago Brock had pointed up, you know, 15 years ago you would love my tax cuts because you're not making what you're making now, and I, I he said that, that to you. Yeah, he said that to me. I said, you know, it would appeal to me, certainly. However, that being said, to get it from somebody else who was working, no, I would feel it's a handout, and that's uh, you know, and I I I don't. I don't want a handout, nor do I deserve a handout. I have, you know, a, a good working body. I can work and make my own money. I don't need somebody else's money that they worked hard for. They say that Ohio, well, first of all, just as a historic fact, uh, no Republican has gone to the White House ever without winning Ohio. Yeah, I and, know. It scares me. And and uh, as you know, uh, Acorn has been working in Ohio to try to uh, steal the election. Yes. Uh, do you have a sense that Ohio is tipping, that your neighbors and friends in Ohio are tipping towards Obama? You know, Toledo's usually been a pretty... Uh Democratic area as far as that goes. I know Columbus is usually uh, fairly conservative, Cincinnati as well. There's a chance, is all I got to say about that. I, you know, can't speak for the state. Uh, you know, it just, it, it, it does scare me, though, because uh, Ohio has been a swing state, and uh, exactly what you had said, no Republican has gotten in office without Ohio. You know, I, I have a lot of friends. I go to a lot of people's houses. You know, I'm a service plumber, so I go to, you know, six, seven, eight people's houses a day, and I meet a lot of uh, Obama uh, fans, and I also meet a lot of McCain fans. So, um, you know, in my opinion right now, I would probably say it's about a 60-40 split going with Obama here in Toledo. Do you uh, ever engage in uh, conversations with Obama supporters to see why they are supporting him? 
I tell you what, I've I've told a couple of McCain supporters this uh, one day a couple weeks ago. I, I you know I, I don't make it a practice, you know, because I haven't you know said I'm voting for McCain or I'm voting for Obama. But I went to a, uh, four or five customers' houses in a row, and they all had the Obama Biden sign up. And uh, so I asked, you know, nicely because politics, you know, religion, those are just things you normally don't talk about because it, you know, it, it can really upset people. Uh, but you know, I pretty personable person usually and so I said so why are you voting for him and you know uh, four times in a row I got the answer well he's for hope and change and I'm like and and that's the only answer I got and I'm like okay I tell you what you know and his bill came up to whatever I said I'll eat the bill if you can give me a better answer and you know a real intelligent answer is why you're voting for Obama and um, what he said five minutes later can I call somebody that's, that's <laughs> what <laughs> That scares me. You know, people are voting for, you know, Obama or voting for McCain without knowledge, without any kind of, uh, you know, without looking up things. I mean, don't vote for him just because your neighbor is or because your dad is. Go find out how it, you know, affects you, really. Don't sit there and vote for him because, you know, you saw him on TV and he spoke well. You know, there's lots of people out there that speak well. There's lots of people that are really have great common sense that, you know, speak like a hick. But, you know, I'd, I'd follow them in a heartbeat as opposed to some guy that came out of Harvard who knows how to speak well, but, you know, they can't find the bathroom without a map. Joe Wurzelbacher. Uh, Joe, thanks very much. We appreciate you coming on. Oh, no. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, good luck uh, uh, making your decision on who to vote for. And, you know, watch the debate tonight and see if your question comes up. We'll all be watching it. Give John a piece of your mind. We are not of one mind, but we now speak with one voice. Call now, 888-788-9910.